Hello everyone, I am the Banyan Man. Welcome to another episode of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Today we're starting episode 8. I am very interested to see what they've done uh, for this episode in this uh, in this game. So, well, let's get started. Okay, here we are. So yeah, my main problem with Last Jedi was uh, the bad jokes. Yeah, <laughs> but that's about it, though. We keep, we hit the cameraman. Oh, look at those ships, dude! It looks so nice. The big Dorito. Rest in peace, the cameraman. So I guess we're we're starting right off with. Uh, yeah. Just for the record, Commander Dameron. Happy I'm babes. Thank you for your support, General. Where's the fleet? Yeah, like this movie started off with a your mama joke, right? Like what was that about? All right. So far the jokes in uh, Oh, whoops. Talking, okay? So far the jokes in this game have been decently good. There have been some exceptions, but for the most part they landed and I thought they were funny, so let's start! Alright, let's see if there's another Yomama joke in this. They're getting a fax! <laughs> Great! You see, that's how you do a Yomama joke! Roger, Roger. Man, they really went wild with the cannons on this thing, huh? I'll have you know that my mother looks nothing like that infantile bitch you drew. Great. Why, not pacey enough to be Mama Hawk? I drew it on a white paper as well. Enough! Prepare to be destroyed! There come the ties. BB-8 has to make that noise, I swear. If he doesn't, I'm gonna be upset. Keep at it, Commander Dameron. We're still evacuating the base. Wow, we already got true Jedi, huh? Well, look at that. It's a mini kit. All right, nice. Almost everyone's joined the fleet. We're just waiting on the last few ships. Keep going, Poe. Let's see here. Do you think there would be a um, a mini kit for like uh, I don't know? We'll see, I guess. Have we destroyed everything on the hole? I don't feel like we have. Aha. There we go. Alright, let's destroy some TIE Fighters. So we still have the homie shot on. Mainly because it, otherwise this flying is just really hard for no reason. So. The evacuation is complete. You 
Oh, they blew it up. Okay, nice. Bruh. He pulled out the bad connection joke. We're gonna have to protect these, aren't we? Indeed, Bog Champ. Oh my god, what is this? This is really... Uh... I cannot shoot for... What the fuck is this? Oh my god. I do not like this whatsoever. Oh my god. What if we switch character? Oh, we can, okay. Alright, now what? We're back at this thing again. Ah. Uh, there's stuff on the bottom too. Let's go and blow those up. Torpedo time. These motherfuckers just be crashing into everything and stuff. Yeah, but how many of these things do the first order have, though? Because if this is the only one, then yeah. Let's destroy the fucking thing, right? Apparently that was a mini kit. Here, let's see. Was that a TIE Interceptor? Interesting. We need one more mini kit. Let me see here. Oops, we died. Can we go to these? No. Yeah, we can, okay. Interesting that they have first order uh, interceptors in this. You can do it, Paige! She got killed. At least she has the, like, Hosnian smelt necklace, right? That's poggers. Piano! Piano away! Great joke. Can't get away, Supreme Leader. 
We have them tied on the end of a string. A very thin string. Is he gonna be shirtless for the rest of this? Please tell me yes. Well done, pal. Weep. Hey, we can't show that. This is a kids game. <laughs> that this is the hottest scene in the sequel trilogy right here. We need to get you dressed. Come on. Great. That was a level. We missed one mini kit. Curious. Yeah, that little first person bit in the cockpit was kind of whack. I didn't like that. Great. Oh yeah, I also got a second one of those... Um, what you call it things. And um, basically what that means is once we get 2 million stats we can get uh, the times 4 stat multiplier. So, uh, yay! Hmm, this was a bit of a short thing so... Uh, we'll continue playing. A uh, Thai Baron, okay. Thai Interceptor, first order color scheme. One thing at a time buddy. Get you dressed first. We'll find you a jacket and some pants. There's got to be a closet around here, or something. So I take it this is exactly like the home one from the sequels, right? From the original trilogy. You hear me? The Radis. Where it looks like you can fully explore it, but then once you're done with the campaign, you will never go. You're never able to go here again, right? Is that it? That's probably it, right? Right. It even has like these little bits here. So, yeah. I don't know. That's weird. That's weird to me. All right. Let's open this. Maybe they add that. Maybe they'll add that later. Here's my theory on why the hero ships aren't playable or ex explorable, because they had the skin customizers in these, and they took those out and they're like, "Oh shit, uh, what do we do now?" Right, we can't, we, yeah, that's my theory. So maybe in the future they will they will add the if they add the skin customizer to this game, which I doubt. Maybe this will become these these ships will become playable too. Eh? Hey, that's my theory. Anyway. Yeah, that's totally that's totally the case, isn't it? I figured it out. There'll be like a little back to tank room. Yeah. That's my theory anyway. Let's see if that's actually the case as well. What? There's nothing in here. Who took it all? Tell me. People have a habit of borrowing and not returning here. If you look around the ship, I'm sure you'll find some spares lying around. Hmm. It says here that the last jacket went out to a P. Dameron. Don't think I know the guy. Great. Oh, well, yeah. Interesting. The jacket should be in that wardrobe there. <laughs> you know what? I probably could have just opened the door instead. Yeah, never really liked that wardrobe anyway. I would not want to live in this. These clean, sterile rooms. Alright, now, let's head back to the closet so you can get 
No, we just do it in the middle of the hallway, bruh. Done that before, so. <laughs> All right, let's change, Finn. Well, I'm dressed. So where now? All right. We've got to go back to the bridge for a debriefing. We'll get you all caught up while we're there. Roger, Roger. Where's Ray? All right. They tracked us through light speed. They've tracked us through light speed. That's impossible. Yet they've done it. He's still shirtless. Nice. No. Don't you dare put the shirt on. It's a. It's a trap. No. Great. Great. Uh, uh, so, who's in charge? Next in command is Vice Admiral Holder. Thank Bruh. you, Commander. What's our plan? Okay. To your post mm -hmm. and follow my orders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Run, Finn, run! It's Rostico! My cute little potato sack, she's here! Look at the potato sack goodness. I had to, I, I had to drink some cola to calm down, oh my god. Just a quick sip. Yeah, Rostico! Yeah! <laughs> Track us through light speed? Yeah, and we're dangerously low on fuel. I want to track Gross to go through light speed too, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> They're only tracking us from the lead ship. We gotta speak the pole. Even if we got on the Star Destroyer to switch it off, who knows where the break room even is? The guy exactly. I can get us there. I can shut their tracker down. That's Let's eat some potato sex. Oh my god, look at that. Now that is an awesome view. Alright, use. Why would a door be locked behind some target practice? It's the only way to ensure everyone is training with their blaster. Oh, okay. Tell me, what's going on? <laughs> this is what could do the story, right? Uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. It's a nice length. We'll continue the story next episode. So, uh, well, we are finally roast Tico. That's what I've been looking forward to. <laughs> no, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.